Welcome to Scramble Game Show. You probably see from this camera angle that we are not in the usual setting. We have uh, full of uh, people in this setting, and today we are so thrilled to have a music group coming to our show. And I first want to introduce uh, Mrs. Wozniak. She's the conductor of this music group, and I will ask her, yeah, in turn, introduce each performer, and then I will get out of the picture, and I think you and I will just enjoy the performance, okay? Thank you, thank you very much. Um, before you is the Summers Middle School Chamber Orchestra, and uh, we meet every Wednesday morning, early in the morning at 7.40, and play beautiful music. I'd like for the children to introduce themselves. On violins, we have... Alicia, Maya, Naomi, Summer, Allie, Keelan. And our resident violist is... Jenny. And our cellists are... Pat, Alyssa, Irene, Olivia. And they make up the Somers Chamber Ensemble. This is really, really impressive group I, I ever seen. So I'm going to leave mm -hmm. and I'll leave you to have this uh, half an hour performance. Well, thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Okay, enjoy. For our first number, we're going to play Simple Gifts. Uh, Simple Gifts was played at the inauguration this uh, past January for President Obama. And we are going to uh, perform it with our soloist for today, Jemin Chang. Jemin. Thank you.
For our next selection, we're going to be playing Ashokan Farewell. Ashokan Farewell is usually associated with the uh, PBS special Civil War. Um, it was written, however, in, the, in 1992, I believe. It could have been 1997. Uh, it was not written during the time of the Civil War, uh, but it was written in that style uh, by, Paul Un by Jay Unger. And uh, we're going to play it for you today. And uh, Alicia Wu is our soloist. Alicia?
you. Our next number is one that we've worked on a long time for our uh, performance in the spring, and it's one that we affectionately call Fudge, but it's actually called Fugue in G minor. It's actually called Fugue in G minor by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, and it's actually every single note that he wrote transcribed for strings. So I'm very proud of our middle schoolers who, for some, have only been playing for a very short time. Ladies and gentlemen, Fugue in G minor.
Okay, take a breath. Jericho. <laughs> One of the numbers that we enjoyed playing um, this year was a uh, piece called Jericho. And it instilled a jazzy rhythm from our cellos and uh, pizzicato and all the techniques that we've, we've been learning in class. And I would just want to thank uh, Cablevision for giving us this opportunity to play for you today. Uh, the children and I are, are more than happy to entertain you with our talents and our hard work. So ladies and gentlemen, Jericho. Thank you very much. We enjoyed playing for you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me say a few words to thank mm -hmm. the uh, kids. Uh, you probably don't know this scramble game show is one of the best kept secret in Somers, <laughs> but I now discover another secret that is you are the best performer in music in Somers yeah. never known to people so I hope now these two secrets will be now known to mm -hmm. people right and we thank you for playing today and after this we're gonna show you the scramble and some of you are familiar with the scramble game mm -hmm. certainly will join us we'll play the uh, scramble game okay and let let all of us sort of tell people our secrets, okay? I know musicians are usually are intelligent people, and the scramble games certainly require that intelligence to play, <laughs> okay? And Mrs. Wozniak, thank, thank you, you so much, much thank you so us. much. Thank you. Yeah. All right, okay. Now, uh, I would really like to spend a little bit of time to have each of you tell a little bit just how you get into music, mm -hmm. how you feel about your music. Is that okay? That that would be that would All be right. a great idea. Uh, mm -hmm. Shall we start from? Well, let's let's begin by um, asking a couple of our um, students who study privately and came into Somers already playing um, about the ensembles that we have. Okay, let's start with Alicia and Naomi. Actually, study with the same teacher. Please mention your private teachers' names. Um, Mrs. Slanzuski. That's who we study with. And who did you when did what when did you begin playing? Um, I started in first grade, like when I was six, uh -huh. and now I'm in eighth grade, so that's like eight years. Uh -huh. And Naomi also studies with the same teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I also have Mrs. Slanzewski, and I started playing when I was in first grade, like Alicia. So since now I'm in sixth grade, it was about six years. Uh -huh. Now we also have a student here today who's who's with the uh, who's fourth grader actually at SIS, and she's pretty much a a permanent fixture in our <laughs> middle school chamber orchestra, and she also stays privately with the teacher, and that's Irene Chun. Oh yes, all right. I would put Irene. So tell us how you get into music. Um, well, I first started when I was in kindergarten, and now I'm in fourth grade, and um, my private teacher is Mr. Mogovsky. Oh, very nice. And Olivia is sitting right next to her, and mm -hmm. Olivia is a fixture also of our cello section constantly. She also played with the middle school orchestra last year as a fifth grader. So she came into um, Somers Middle School as a veteran cellist, um, and she also studies with someone in Somers. Um, I study with Mr. Ostrovsky, um, and I started in third grade, and now I'm in sixth grade, so that was only three years. But Very good. And Alyssa also studies with the same cello teacher. Well, can we? Yes. I don't know if we can. Okay. We can. We can. Oops. All right. Well, I too study with Mr. Ostrovsky, and I actually started in fourth grade. So I sort of started a year late, and that's only two years, but I still love playing the cello. Very good, very nice. And, and while uh, lessons are not, um, they're not a prerequisite for being in the ensemble, practices and, and playing an ensemble, um, Jemin Chang is also a violist in our, um, in our orchestra, and he also doubles on violin, which is quite unusual for um, a student at this age to be doubling on both the violin and the viola. He does so beautifully. He, he doesn't have a private teacher at this moment. So if maybe any, we should ask for somebody. <laughs> uh, that's what I would just say. If any viola teachers in Somers, you know, give us give me a call at the middle school because we are looking for wonderful, wonderful private teachers. Uh, their names also. And Gemma did a beautiful job on um, on Simple Gifts, the solo for Simple Gifts. Um, um, everyone else here um, actually has been with us since the third grade. We began playing in the third grade at SIS. And um, we are very happy that they are members of our ensemble and work so very hard um, to maintain also the same level of musicianship as all the other students that you just heard from who do have other private teachers. As I said, it's not a prerequisite to be in our ensemble, but sometimes it helps. And sometimes it's just a good part of a foundation that we build on. Yeah, we certainly should uh, ask more people to join your ensemble. Oh, please. <laughs> well, as a father of Jemming, I, I will advertise then. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does need a private uh, <laughs> teacher. So anybody who's watching this program uh, would uh, like to uh, teach a uh, I would say talented uh, yes, kid, right? Yes, so. uh, But they're all talented. We need, we need te names of teachers who are willing to come out and, uh, and be a part of our community in the sense that they're taking on private students. So that would be that's, wonderful. That's, that's not the reason why we were here today, but it seemed to roll very nicely oh, definitely, into it. Definitely, yes. All right, I will leave you a minute or two mm -hmm. to say what we'd like to say mm -hmm. Thank you. to our community. Well, I'm very, very proud of um, the boys and girls at the SIS that begin in third grade and continue on in the fourth and fifth grade. Many of our students go on to uh, play the NISMA uh, competitions, which is the New York State School Music Association competition. And this year, uh, Alicia Wu played a level six, um, and she received a um, perfect score. So we're very, very proud of her uh, abilities and her um, performance at NISMA. And we are very proud of all the boys and girls that um, play in a NISMA competition. Everyone here, I believe, played in NISMA this year, or just about everyone played in NISMA this year and, and had a very, very good showing. Um, it is my privilege to teach your children in Somers. I love coming to work every day and seeing them, even though our rehearsals are very early in the morning. I love coming and to work and hearing their talents. Um, I am not um, very good at expressing 
the type of uh, love that I have for your children here in Somers, uh, with the exception of when they play their instruments. They are terrific children, and I thank the Somers community for supporting the arts program and arts education. It's a very important process of who your children in Somers are becoming. Thank you again. We thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now uh, uh, we would like to uh, prepare for the second half. Okay, we know that there's a lot of uh, stands and chairs so on, but we'll have a short intermission, okay? And I, let me explain a little bit about the game so that uh, when we start, we don't have to uh, do that again. Mm -hmm. The scramble game basically is a word game, okay? Uh, anybody can spell words and make words, you can play. So it's therefore you don't need to learn. Anybody can play on the first time. The only difference is that the words people made can be stolen by somebody by adding a letter to scramble it. That's how the name scramble comes about, okay? So we will have a magnetic board, we'll have cards that show in the letters, and you will have buzzers to raise your chance to spell the word. And people can, of course, take your word and so on and so forth. So that game goes on uh, sort of continuously. Everyone is engaged. Whether you make a word or not, you're still thinking with your brains, mm -hmm. okay? So everyone is uh, really focused uh, on the game, okay? Do you all understand that game, right? Okay, so we'll see how many people can, you know, play and enjoy this game. Uh, now, we will ask the director, are, are we ready to take a short intermission? All right, okay, let's, uh, okay. Audience, please stay tuned, okay? We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> 